Happy Memorial Day weekend, everyone out there, and happy Detroit Electronic Music Festival, happy Fuse In, happy Movement Festival, happy Electronic Music Dance Party downtown Hart Plaza, downtown Detroit, every single year since the year 2000. Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on my video and giving me a shot. I'm the Amazing Fleck, or otherwise known as the Ball Guy. I've been performing this contact juggling stuff at the Detroit Electronic Music Festival, or Movement Festival, every single year since the year 2001. And I missed out on last year, and I missed out on this year also. Or did I? I guess you can say I'm there in spirit. It's not something that's happening the way we would like it to happen this year. I think that Paxahow is doing things in other locations around Detroit. But hey, we have to take what we can get, and this is where we're at right now. So I'm celebrating this year's movement by making a couple of videos about it and going out and being social instead of going to the festival, going in that little crater right in front of the main stage and doing contact juggling the whole time, trying to get tips off of complete strangers. I mean, or even friends, friends and family have also come by and dropped a five, 10 or a 20. And I've made a couple hundred dollar bills down there. They blew my mind. I couldn't believe it. But the point is, is that I used to go down there all the time and do this contact juggling and people would say, hey, it's the ball guy. And they would come up and watch my show and then come and go all throughout the day and so on. I loved doing it so much. It's been such a really, really fun time, but things change, you know? Sometimes it takes a global pandemic to make your weekend a little bit different and shake things up. But even then, as things change throughout the years, it's not gonna stop me from having a good time and going out and doing things this year. This weekend's been very busy for me. I got a lot of stuff going on in my personal life, including uh, my cat had to go to the vet, a lot of things I have to catch up on. I'm an in-home caregiver. Uh, I've been doing that for the past couple years, in addition to doing entertainment. Life's changed a lot for me. I'm just rolling with the punches and doing the best I can with what I got going on. But what I wanted to talk about here today is my hat. This is an official Grandma Techno hat. Raise your hand out there if you know who Grandma Techno is. Grandma Techno is this amazing social icon that's been going to the Music Fest for a long time. Uh, so amazing is this lady. She goes there, she gets around in a motorized scooter, and she takes pictures of all these people, and she really gets into the music. She gets up and dances too sometimes. And I think it's fair to say that we all love Grandma Techno very much. I love Detroit, I love Grandma Techno, and when she came out with this book of her photography, and a hat, and stickers, and all this stuff that was on Kickstarter, I couldn't, I couldn't resist. I had to support the lady. She's an absolute sweetheart. She's taken a number of different photos throughout the years of the Movement Festival downtown Detroit. Oh, this was a piece of art, an extra little bit I got with it too. I'll put that aside. But yeah, look at that. All the different Movement Festival programs and, and flyers and stuff out the years there. And this is a book called They Call Me Grandma Techno by Patricia Lay Dorsey. And like I said, she's just a super, super hip lady. She goes down there and has a good time and probably parties harder than some of the kids can. But this book has a number of different pictures of people just going down there and dancing and having a good time. And because this is my channel, I'm gonna show you one particular picture that I really enjoyed. But here it is, we have a photo of me and my niece. This is actually a photo of my niece. Uh, my brother and my brother's wife at the time um, dressed her up like her mom and went down there to go dancing and stuff. And that's me with ripped up pants and those acrylic balls just kind of putting on a show. People would watch me in the dip and throw a couple bucks in. And Patricia Lay Dorsey, she took a bunch of photos and put me inside of her book. I was real excited to see that. And there's a number of other people inside this book that I'm dear close friends to and other familiar faces that go there every single year. It's really, really neat to see this. And I haven't opened this book up in a couple years now. I think it came out in 2019, yeah. So the last year it was actually happening, this came out. We didn't see it in 2020 or the year of 2021. And we have these memories though, and we can carry these memories with us for time and time to come. I really wish we can all go downtown and enjoy the festival the way we were enjoying it. For me, it's always been a source of enjoyment. I love electronic music, and I love contact juggling and dancing, and that's how I got my start busking and street performing was because of the Detroit Electronic Music Festival, Fuse In and Movement, whatever you want to call it. Electronic music dance party at Hart Plaza that happens every single year except for this year and the last year. I'm sure there's something going on downtown Art Plaza right now. I'm sure someone has some music going on and people are dancing and having a good time, but, but it seems I just have too much going on this weekend to be able to go downtown and enjoy the festivities. Who knows, maybe I'll find some time later on tonight to go down and enjoy it, but I do have a 16 hour shift tomorrow and I don't wanna show up late for that or too tired. I will say this though, I'm really looking forward to the time where we can all go back downtown, listen to some music and dance again and breathe the same air without anxiety of potentially spreading something around that can hurt 
our loved ones. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're new to my channel and you stumbled on this because you're interested in the Electronic Music Festival downtown and you might have seen me down there, thanks very much for tuning in my channel. I'm the Amazing Fleck, once again, I'm not just the ball guy. It can really help me out a lot if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button. I do post on YouTube every single day for the year of 2021. It's a promise I made to myself that I would post every single day and not erase any of my mistakes. I post about many different things, many different subjects, many different categories, but one thing I do post about regularly and consistently is once a week I do another video. Every Sunday I do another circus and flow arts tutorial here on my channel, sometimes Monday morning. If you go to my playlist section, you click on circus and flow arts basics or on my contact juggling and tutorials link to know more about how to learn how to do what you're seeing right here, the art of contact juggling. Contact juggling is kind of like regular juggling, except that you are staying in contact with the object you're manipulating, you're not tossing and catching it, and it's usually centered around one, maybe a couple things, but some of the best, most fun techniques are done with just one object, in this case, a round sphere. And you can learn how to play with your balls too if you go to my playlist section and click on contact juggling tutorials. You can also learn how to spin things on your finger like this. This is called pediddling. Uh, you saw me do it with the book earlier. I can teach you how to teach yourself how to do all these various techniques. So go ahead, check out my playlist section here on my channel. And if you wouldn't mind, click on the subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. I'm trying to get up to 1,000 subscribers here on my channel. And I know I post every single day, which can be kind of annoying to some folks. Just unclick the notification bell. You could subscribe to my channel and you can still support me by watching my videos, liking my content, and commenting on my content. Giving me creative ideas is fantastic. Giving me constructive criticism is more than welcome. And there's links below, so if you missed seeing me at the Electronic Music Festival downtown, and you're used to giving me five bucks or something like that to support a starving artist such as myself, you can check out below. I have links for my Venmo and my PayPal, and I would greatly appreciate any support you're willing to toss my way. Because after all, I'm teaching all these circus and flow arts techniques for absolutely free here on my channel, and I'm posting every single day this year trying to create comedic, educational, funny, fun, wholesome content for everyone out there to enjoy. I want to put my thumbprint on the internet and self-publish myself. This is the first time in recorded history, as far as I can recall, that anyone can self-publish themselves for the whole world to see. It's an exciting time to be alive, and I wish I got on this train a little bit sooner in my artistic career, but at any rate, here we are, right here, right now, and we're making it happen right here, right now, so that's what really counts. All right, folks, thanks very much for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. I have to go, and I've got a lot of stuff to accomplish later on tonight, so I'll leave you with this. This is how I've been ending all my videos lately. Please remember to never give up. Do your best. Stay true to who you are, and if you do all that, you can be amazing. So thanks very much for watching, folks. Have a beautiful night, and happy Memorial Day weekend. Bye-bye.